Hi everyone, it's the 24th of October and this is the weekend video. I'll go through the indices, commodities and forex. Those are the ones that we mainly follow. We of course follow the agricultural commodities but that's for um, normal daily updates. Um, so let's start with ES. Um, the the uh, overall picture to me is still looking very very bullish as long as this golden support is holding. And I believe we're going to get to one more high at 3,600 after breaking this green bull flag. And that's what I'm, I'm uh, uh, aiming for. Actually, we are long Dow, which I'll explain, but ES will become a, a buy signal as well when this is broken. So you can see in the previous video, which a few weeks ago, the black bull flag wasn't formed yet, and it formed after this backtest sorry pullback and then uh, broke out backtest and it kept on running but I believe eventually it's gonna get to this previous high and then from there on we may see a really big sell-off and I'll explain when this can be uh, here the golden support this long-term support is the one I trust at the moment so we have kind of a rail here you can see here this rail is pretty much what it has held um, and gave the thrust to more upside after the law in September. Now if we look at the close-up picture, the red channel is a speculative one. I'm, I'm just holding it as a reference. It has very good internals. Just let me zoom out a bit yeah it has very good internal lines you can see here and they, they are holding and there is this one very good internals uh, and this one a little bit you know just these two two ones as support and resistance so I plot these internals just like the corridors of a building the bottom and top bands are basically the walls of the of the building so right now this air is um, a nicely formed potential bull, bull flag we can't call it un until it breaks but we can see here two touches and two touches on the bottom and the top band or is kind of a rail is still holding so obviously bulls have to push really hard to pass through and if they do when they do then the next target will be 3000 550 plus I believe this is going to be the next you know it's going to be maybe uh, it's going to get there I believe and then maybe a very little marginal high then the the what caused this reversal here was this blue imperfect resistance you can see here it was uh, slightly off but it may still get there again so I uh, I'm keeping my options open and I'm still bullish and by the dips is still on Dow yeah is the same story Dow Jones in uh, industrial the September law was marked by these and wasn't really very accurate I must say I was expecting the back test on this broken blue resistance but it didn't get there unfortunately I would have bought it really heavy but it decided to bounce off this red support get to the red top band form this bull flag and then break it and back test it uh, which is why we bought it there actually there was also a little gap fill here and this is why we bought it there and now the re purple bull flag which is a perfect one one two three four is is forming and of course also the blue support which is the two touches here and the two touches just recently on Friday uh, there was one one more touch and it was also back testing this black broken resistance so that one was the perfect buy signal which I posted as well to subscribers now I aim to get to you know our our long is also from 20, 28,300 now I believe it's gonna get to 28,500
that's where I'm aiming for. Now, Na Nasdaq, um, the channel or a potential channel from the from the March lows is still not confirmed at the at its bottom band, but it has good good um, uh, merit because of these uh, internal support lines and the resistance okay what's currently happening is this golden support which was kind of uh, you know pierced on Friday Thursday and Friday but you can see it's still being defended with these big spikes we may have another reversal at the green top band maybe come down again to the internal blue support which would be around 3000 uh, sorry 11500 ish and if it gets back gets all the way you know if we see a big sell off which would be very bad for of course for ES and Dow which I was I was showing and that, which is why I don't expect Nasdaq to do that but it may do that we can't ignore that so we may see a dive to 11350 and then really rally high to three thirteen thousand. That would be a buy signal for me. Nonetheless, the green channel, if it becomes a bull flag at its top band, breakout will still be a buy signal. No wonder. I mean, uh, no doubt. The most popular one here by the bulls is Russell 2000. This was the back test of the green broken resistance. Now this was the back test second. This was the lit this little one was the first, and then it cleared the golden resistance. Okay, that was a beautiful breakout, and now it has formed this green perfect bull flag. So, and I believe its top band, which already is quite tired with three touches, is going to break to the upside eventually, and the COVID gap is at. 16,078 okay it's right here from February and I believe it's gonna get filled so um, this level is 16,000 1678 FTSE big bounce off the red bottom band it is uh, looking still very unhealthy because it hasn't gone anywhere since the top in June that's really bad I mean compared to all the other markets the green support rail was broken but then the blue support held and now this looks to me like a very bullish thing happening if especially if it can break this golden resistance and get to uh, it may get to the uh, the blue potential resistance we come back down there and then all the way to the red top band okay that's that would be the target if um, as long as of course this red support is uh, challenged again if it does get challenged and I believe it may break to the downside then we would have to look at it again this is what my my trading technique is I look for confirmations I don't look for anticipations I look for visual signals price action and I act on them I don't anticipate much of course when I buy a market which is in an uptrend I anticipate that it's gonna stay in that uptrend just like I'm doing it with Dow Jones this blue channel okay that is of course bias but what I mean what I mean is after seeing uh, a, a support holding and then buying it is not anticipation it's basically price action trading here DAX is um, bounced off the imperfect blue support uh, which took me out of my long I tried to buy DAX somewhere here and it basically cleared that kind of a imperfect support now but then it bounced really hard if the red top band holds we'll see a pullback and then red channel becomes a bull flag and then the breakout will be will be a long and a clearly the golden top band will also need to be broken for more upside and that golden channel is to me also looking like a bull flag so all these markets have not major upside I mean it's they are still 
in their uptrends since March lows, the sweet money was made here. Yeah, that was it's not here. Clearly, it's been extremely choppy, but the sweet money was in April, May, June. The sweet spot, let's put it that way. And here, oil also really choppy, not going anywhere. This is an option seller heaven. They are collecting their premiums every day. Oil uh, bottom band, uh, the blue bottom band, I believe is going to be holding. It didn't get tested ac very accurately, but um, looking at, if we look at it this way, this blue support may just have held. And then it would mean that the blue top band will get tested. So there is that. And the red top band clearly is the target at 44.50. Nat gas still aiming for since the break of the green bull flag and its back test it's aim it's reached the target at three and I believe the red top band is its ultimate target and from there let me put it to daily charts from there there I see a double resistance a strong double resistance which may uh, be tested at three point twenty five and from there we may see another big sell off by natgas if it if the golden top band holds um gold is moving also extremely choppy this golden resistance is the one to watch and the green support okay and the red bottom band maybe if it gets tested we we may see another big bounce all in all, all in all, I mean, if I show you the uh, spot one, that one was the one I showed was um, futures. Spot and futures differ a little bit, quite a bit, uh, because of the co actions in the COVID times. So um, that's why the channels are a, a little bit different. Uh, now they have converged to the same price. But look at this spot here. The red support rail has to be defended by the bulls otherwise it it may dive and really big time sell off so this is very critical levels and that's why this this resistance has to be cleared as soon as possible and silver had broken the blue resistance this is a four hourly chart this one and it back tested deep but it's still um, looking fine to me the green bottom band is um, kind of speculative support okay it has two touches only and it's not a channel the top band doesn't have the, the second touch and the green the green resistance rail and this here internals are very accurate which tells me that silver may be willing to move inside this green channel the red one is not, this is also futures, the red one is not a very accurate bull flag, but if we look at the, again, the spot, this red channel is a bull flag, I mean, in the making, let's put it that way. It is a potential bull flag, and once it's broken, I believe it's going to get to 35, 30, 30 plus, if it can be broken, and that would be a long entry for my money. And Euro, um very critical levels okay I had posted this green channel first of all I I had been concentrating on this golden bull flag which was broken and back tested you can see here this was a double support with the green and golden and then later on it came down all the way to the green bottom band where we bought at 117 and then it bounced broke the blue resistance it didn't get back tested, but it may. It doesn't have to, to be honest. It doesn't have to. It may, it visited, revisited the breakout level at least, and it has to break now the black top band. To me, if the black top band breaks, that is the game over for uh, U.S. dollar. And U.S. dollar here, if it breaks, then the red top band, which is coming from all the way. Red, um, 2008 okay this is our mega channel 
and if it does break this red channel at at 120 it would be broken then I believe uh, euro will get to 125 130 and it's never gonna fall not never but it's in our lifetimes I would say uh, in the next coming years it's gonna get to 116 okay 116 yes oh sorry 160 160 60 that is and that is here the weekly to me this is a mega bull flag all right uh, this is terrible data here but it is a bull flag there is an uptrend from 2000 uh, this is a bull flag and I believe it's gonna get to 160 once it's broken yes uh, pound sterling um, is also moving very precariously I would say um, but I am um, the green channel is a potential bear flag and if it does break to the downside then I I would expect a dive to the blue bottom band only to form this rising channel right now it is very obviously very choppy because or very uh, volatile because of Brexit talks but you can see here sometimes the technicals and the news come together you know I was expecting this golden resistance to be broken eventually and then resuming of the Brexit talks caused it to break to the upside and that is good so it is constructive for uh, for pound sterling for the cable I'm mo I, I would watch this green top and I mean if it rallies and smashes this one then 150 is the next I'm I'm pretty sure about that um, I would be very confident not sure but very confident about that um, yeah that is that uh, Aussie dollar here the golden resistance rail previous resistance rail was back tested back tested back tested and this golden zone has been instrumental you can see here it's being defended it's being bought this red top band if it's broken eventually that would be a long signal okay and that would also signal more weakness for US dollar similarly Kiwi now uh, had bounced and we bought it right here at this double golden plus red support and then it broke the blue rail and back tested it which is perfect you can see here this is the back test and now the golden top band is being broken to the upside uh, we like that okay have a good weekend take care and let me know if you have any questions um, yeah even on the public account I sometimes answer the questions um, yeah that's it bye bye